Hi, this is the host of Tech Talk with Craig Peterson, heard weekly on Clear Channel Radio with another Tech Searchlight. Welcome back to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. We're on the floor of the Consumer Electronics Show. We're going to talk right now with Robert Sanchez. He's CEO of a company called Chirpal. We've talked with them before. Of course, you can find them online at Chirple, C-H-E-R-P-L-E dot com. They've been involved for a number of years now with a delivery systems, with cell phones and web content and a few other things. We're going to talk right now about a patent here, which is called a system and method for delivering web content to a mobile device and how it's affecting them, how it's affecting the industry. There's a couple of other patents as well that we may get into. And uh, Robert Sanchez, welcome to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Thanks, Craig. Always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, that's right. You've been on before, and I, I always enjoy having you on. Now, you've been very successful in the past. You've done a number of different things in different companies, in fact, in different parts of the world. You've sold businesses. You're, you're the definition of a business guy, an entrepreneur that goes out and gets it. And we all think about the importance of the American dream and building the economy, and it starts with small businesses. And that's what you're doing. Now, you're taking a couple of blows right now in the whole patent arena, something I've had a soapbox issue on forever because I think there's issues. We just had some changes to the patent system in the U.S. Why don't you tell us what's going on? Yeah, in terms of the patents, you're right, Craig. What recently did it is Congress tried to revamp it a little bit, but they just means hurried it up. The issue is the United States continues to lead innovation. That's really and what's it's, happening. It's got to. And, and you and I know that. You know, I like to tell the story. I said, you know, I hate to say this, but everyone's afraid of the Chinese taking over the world. Well, when you think of the Chinese, you think of manufacturing. Right. You think of the masses. When you think of another country, say Japan, you think about technology. You think of a, company like, a country like Mexico, and you think, okay, service industry. Even if you use a Jewish nation, you say they're spendthrift, they're good businessmen. But there's only one country in the world, when you say leader, it's the United States. Mm -hmm. The world expects us to drive innovation. Because of that, innovation is driving into the USPTO floodgates. Floodgates. But that's the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. That's correct. So the USPTO is that. So this patent that we recently got issued, we filed in 2004. <laughs> Okay. You know, that's before some of these kids were born, you know. So it's one yeah. of those things you look at and go, wow, okay, Robert, that system method to do blah, 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 blah. What is that? Right? Well, yeah, but you're a rich industrialist, you know. You've got all kinds of money in the world. Who cares if it takes a decade? Yeah, that's true. But my investors care. <laughs> yeah. Well, and who doesn't, especially small business people? You're trying to build a business. You apply for the patent to protect your your uh, intellectual property right. in order to be able to move forward, get a business, get it to grow. And when you're talking about investors particularly, I've been there myself, you've really got problems because that patent is, is almost like gold when it's time to go and get either the initial rounds or subsequent rounds of financing. That's exactly right. I, I ran a different model, and, I, and I'll take advantage of what you said, Craig. It's I, I really didn't need the money for investors. As a matter of fact, every one of my investors is a personal friend. They're tied into high school or college or real good friends. Sure. We've got about 70 of them. Well, I was able to raise $10 million from them. Um, and, you know, once you make it well, mm -hmm. it feels good. And I want all my friends to feel the same way. Right. And if someone can feel like, wow, that just bought me a house or that paid for my child's education, then I can sleep better at night. And I kind of figured out a way to make a little bit of money here and there. But this, this patent, you're right, this is the crazy patent. So, you know, Facebook has, I don't know, 600, 700 million users. Twitter has about 120 million users. And all these social media guys have stuff. But if you ever receive a text message with a URL or hyperlink in it, mm -hmm. that's our patent. Okay. So, you know, Twitter infringes only 140 million times a day. <laughs> Only, right? right? So I, yeah, I don't know how many times on Facebook, but I don't know. Microsoft incorporates it into their operating system. Apple incorporates it into theirs. Nokia Mobile incorporates it into theirs. Every carrier in the world sends messaging that way. What was interesting, people go, how could you be doing that? Well, back in 2004, text messaging could only send ABCs, right? Seven-bit ASCII. Right. 
and with the ability to interlink, uh, hi hyperlink it and create an applet, our patent is literally the ability to put an applet in a text message and deliver it into the carrier network. Matter of fact, it's not even limited to text messaging. It says any applet into the carrier network. Mm -hmm. So we'll make a few dollars, you know. I'd like to sell it. I don't want to own it. You and I know litigation's crazy, right? Right. Well, then that's what's coming to mind right now. You're talking about how often it's used, misused, and I assume that you're not getting royalties that you haven't licensed this patent to them. That's correct. So the intent is to sell it, the patent to a company that can, you know, either litigate or license it or do whatever have you and us get out of the business. I don't need to compete with a Qualcomm or an IDC or any of those guys that own a lot of patent lawyers or even, the, you know, unfortunately we call them patent trolls, right? Right. I don't want to do that. So I'd prefer selling it, give my investors, you know, two, three, four times back their money. That's, and, well, 10 times is usually what they want because so many lose, but not with Robert Sanchez. No, <laughs> thanks, Greg. <laughs> I appreciate that. With the personal guys, they're happy to take a look at that. And, it, and it's an interesting model. I got to tell you, crazy model. I'm not issuing any more shares. Mm -hmm. So I do a cash, I do a stock buyback. Right. And so as you know, mathematically, as people start buying, they start selling back stock. Right, you're buying the, the back. It gets the, smaller, the, right? Right, and the value goes up. Yeah. So I always tell the guy, the last guy standing is going to make a few dollars. Right, so just sit back and smile. Exactly. And so right behind that, we have another patent called the mobile-to-mobile -mobile payment patent. I just got word uh, two days ago that the uh, patent office allowed six of the 20 claims. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need to allow the other 14 to make anything move. But think about that mobile to mobile payment. Well, our right. big difference in it is that we define the server that does all the authentication within the carrier network. Most mobile to payment, mobile to mobile payment systems rely on an application mm -hmm. on the handset. We said, no, you know, 9% of the phones in the world are internet enabled. Right. That means 91% can't do internet. So what's our market? Our reachable market just completely shrunk. So if we could do this with text messaging or even voice, I think that's worth it. A crazy guy came up to us, a uh, company in New York, I won't divulge, mm -hmm. before we even had the patent you know, anywhere near. They said, we'd like to offer you $100 million for it right now. Wow, real money. Yeah, so my investors will make more money, right? We'll be able to generate enough capital to create more silly things out there. Now, you have the three different patents, it looks like here, right, that we're talking about. You have the system and method for delivering web content, which is the one that has the apps and the bedded stuff like the URLs, right. uh, the mini apps. Mobile to, moment pay, mobile to mobile payment system, which is absolutely huge. And, you know, when, when we're thinking about this, again, we get so U.S.-centric. You mentioned, of course, 91% don't have the Internet. We're, you know, think of, of small countries, small nations, and what this actually means to them because now you can have entrepreneurship at the lowest level where people can actually send even micro payments to each other and you said it exactly and uh, Craig that that's the vision you know you and I share the same vision the market isn't the United States guess what it's the other 6.7 billion people in this world there are only 300 million here in the United States so you know mathematically any businessman knows you want to go after that 6.7 billion Right. And that's where the target is. We're enabling it easily for them to go forward. We had, I work on a lot of charities. And, you know, I think the statistic is like 60% of the world lives off less than $4 a day. Mm -hmm. We need to help them somehow, right? We don't need to punish them for what they are. So if we're able to provide technologies that makes our lives easier. Micropayments is amazing. In Ethiopia, we extend $8 loans on an annual basis for families there to create their own businesses. Mm -hmm. We don't even understand that concept. But yet this technology, certainly with philanthropy and other stuff, that's what we need to do to, to help the rest of the yeah, world. It's, it's teaching the man to fish, if you will. Giving exactly. them the resources they need through, again, micro loans, the, the $8 type loans, and some of this other technology. You have one other here, this two-way chat, oh, yeah. which is the computer to mobile system and method. Right, so that's what Chirpal is today. Right. Chirpal is exactly that. And what we did was in, now the next version of Chirpal is we've incorporated that URL patent in it. So if you go on Chirpal and click and initiate a text session, you can upload an image and send it to that phone too now to incorporate that. But who's infringing on that? I don't know, Google Talk? 
company called Skype. A few other guys, like some small guys, you know, some of those social media people things. A few mm -hmm. of those guys. So that one's a long time coming. If, we, if you take a look at historically how long these patents take, we're going to hang in there for another five or six years. Wow. Having fun. And then know. get out. So now, you're, what are we looking at here now? Or, or you're, you're looking to license these patents? You're looking to sell these patents? Yeah, what I'd like to do is sell the patent. So we can generate enough capital to expand our operations globally. As a matter of fact, we're looking for global partners, specifically in telecom. I'd love to penetrate China. You know, in the 19 provinces in China, there are only a couple billion people there that if we can be able to extend their communication into country, um, that helps a lot. Uh, you talk about a global world. The global world is not television, right? It's not newspaper. Certainly radio reaches much bigger than anyone else. But certainly everyone has, seems to have a cell phone. Right. And the rest of the world gets text messages for free. Incoming texts, what we call mobile terminated, are free. Mm -hmm. So if we're able to provide the largest nations in the world, specifically Mexico and India, with the ability of the rest of the world to talk to them, the residents, via text, which we can do in Chirpal, wow, can you imagine how powerful it is for small businesses, for families, many different things. Fantastic. If people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way? Should they go to the triple.com? Yeah, that would, be, that would be a perfect place to find us. Go to triple.com, and I think there's lists down there on how to contact us for sure. And I hate to say this, but you want to contact me directly, well, you could use the technology. If everyone remembers the sort code 53137, again, mm -hmm. that's 53137, set that up on your phone and send the text message with the message RS on it. Mm -hmm. So 53137, text RS, and you'll get not only my contact information, but see that patent and work. You'll see a picture of me. Oh, okay. It, it sends it back. Yeah, exactly. That, that's just amazing because I know I send text messages with pictures all the time. Mm -hmm. It's very common. And now, it's, of course, it's getting bigger with video and everything else that's getting embedded in right. it. Right. And so just to let you know, we, we aren't patenting mobile to mobile to do that. So if you're sending a mobile picture to a friend on another mobile... That's not what our patent covers. It's a server to mobile. So for the consumer, you're very protected. You cannot do this. We're, we, we're doing it specifically for the enterprises, brands, to try to reach out to customers. And, of course, we look forward to that being profitable for our investors. And we love to generate capital enough to grow internationally. I have to share with you one of my goals with the uh, PR marketing firm we just acquired is to be known as the PR marketing and advertising firm for all the charities for children and youth in California. So mm -hmm. that's really what I'd love to give back, what we can to the world. You know, the children of the world, unfortunately, they're, they're entering into a very difficult world. Anything we can do to help them out, the better for all of us. We think it's bad here. We barely got a cold, and uh, they're very, very sick in many parts of the world because exactly. of the U.S. economy. We're speaking economically. Exactly. Exactly. Right. we got to fix that sometime, too, to Craig. <laughs> details, details. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Robert Sanchez, thanks for being with us, the CEO of Chirple, C-H-E-R-P-L-E.com. We were talking about some patents, which Chirple has here that uh, Robert is looking to license and move on. We talked a little bit about the patent system and how long this can take. And if you're an entrepreneur out there, this is all good information for you. If you're an investor who might be looking to maybe move forward a little bit on along some of these lines, Robert's the guy to talk to. You'll enjoy talking to him no matter when and why. Thanks again for being with us. Appreciate it, Craig. When we come back, of course, more about the technology right here on the floor at CES with Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching another Tech Searchlight brought to you by Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Visit us online at craigpeterson.com.